There we go. Range damage, 99. And uh, if you don't want a seizure, don't look in the bottom chest. Uh, what's the grain alcohol for? Is that like medical supplies or what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see what I want about that, Tyler? Yeah, it's not that bad, considering you can just simply click the, the <coughs> short container. Uh, I got a silencer mod schematic here. <laughs> And what is an Iron Breaker mod schematic? Iron Breaker, that increases uh, damage done to blocks. Why nice. No back indoors, little coward. Do I have to discipline you, younger man? Maybe he's into that kind of thing. Okay, okay your, your, your gun is. Wait, at this range, my gun's better. <laughs> What's that? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I see you've got your gun hot pink as well. Oh dear. There we go. Now it's bright red. Yeah, I, I stripped all the color mods off all of our the clothing we've been salvaging. Uh, do we have a special place for schematics? Uh, in the reading chest right now. Uh, top left. I just moved top mods. right, right here. Yeah, top left. Um, yeah, so that's all bits of materials and stuff in there. Oh, there's a color mod there that I missed. Oops. Uh, I don't know what this drunken disorderly challenge is, but... <coughs> um. uh, it's gonna be kill certain zombie types, okay. I think. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, uh, wait. Lilikari, here's the, uh, kill zombies while drunk, isn't the 762 AP. Thank you. Uh, I got the, I got like a hundred rounds of the, uh, 9 mil AP, so. Uh, Iron Fire Axe. Uh, it's only a level 1, I think we should just probably, uh, throw it in the furnace. Yeah, probably. Uh, got a double barrel um, shotgun here. I... Level 1. So we have a level 5 as well. Oh, we got a level 5? Maybe I'd just scrap the damn thing then. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Forge Iron, I got like oh, 63 of those. Okay. Is there any wood lying around? Oh, there's some in here. Right. Sorry, never mind. Ooh, whoever wants to go down the Magnum route, you got 10% more damage. Uh, Lovely. Deal. The Magnum route. I think I'm the only one who's even bothering with that. Maybe. Hang on. Which, oh, I forget which school. Is that endurance? I think it's one. That, it's one of those ones we're not even really doing seriously at the moment for any of us. It's the guy. It's just the the deal. Magnum's kind of hard to get. So yeah. Yeah. So it's like hang on to those. Uh, does anyone want these uh, iron gloves before I throw them in the furnace? They're just uh, rank one, so. Really. No one wants. No one wants plate armor. It's not a good no, thing no, to have in this armor. in some cases because it can wear you down a lot faster and it's noisy. It gives you a load of AC, but uh... it's essentially a last stand option, yeah. A lot of AC, but your movement goes down, the noise goes way up. Uh, how the hell do I put so it in here? Are... Uh, oh, never to... mind. Oh, it needs to go into one of the fuel slots on the right. I saw it. Yeah, I think I think heavy armor, especially metal armor, full plate, is essentially a last stand option if you can't run anywhere and just have to hold out and kill all the enemies. Yeah, but the problem is that then you have to have that actual armor with you when you get into that situation. Uh, yeah, I think uh, base being overrun or something. Yeah, like that. if you're like Maybe on a, a seven day horde, probably. <coughs> Excuse me. That reminds me, why haven't we had a warning yet that there's a horde? I don't know. Uh, it'll come in later. Yeah, but actually, it's a setting you can change how early you get the warning. I mean, we already know it's day seven, so. I think yeah, the but... first line strike happens around four, five o'clock. But the day's clear at the moment. 
I am now level 23, hell yeah. Uh, I'm only level four. Really? Yeah. Get back to work, you slacker. Uh, and I'm in between you two. I only have a two, I just got fusion, fusion tech. <laughs> but then again, there's only three levels, so... Yeah, the uh, that's one of the universal tech stammer. It's like um, yeah. every race gets access to um, fission tech to start out with, then they get fusion tech, then they get antimatter tech for their power sources. Each stage, yeah. though, is like a massive boost in performance. Yeah, it's it doubled the range of all my craft and uh, almost doubled their speed. Uh, once actually built ships with that uh, module in, uh, equipped, so yeah. Which essentially means I could technically scrap my entire fleet and build it anew, because right before I got fusion tech, I also got shields. So now I got shields and fusion tech, and my ships huh. don't have it. Yeah, so you, you decide really as you go. It's like, when do I want to just refit everything? Since there is no refit option. Yeah, um, yeah, you have to scrapple and just do it again. Yeah, what, what I intend to do is just throw loads of ships on the enemy and hope they die. Either well, the ship or the enemy, it doesn't matter how... Uh, just... die. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, remember, if you scrap them in your own system, that system gets a, a buff to its uh, resource rating. Yeah, but it gets one point for a destroyer, two points for a cruiser, and three points for a dreadnought or something like that. True, but it's still a, like um, a legit strategy to just build and scrap mass destroyers to multiply your systems. Resources. Destroyers, definitely, but I got like 200 cruisers that I couldn't uh Yeah, 100 or so cruisers, to be fair. Let me actually double check how many I couldn't uh, Sorry to interrupt, but could I someone uh, start another batch of concrete, please? If possible. I'm sure, if there's enough uh, stones in concrete mix. <laughs> <sighs> I have to correct myself, it's 270 cruisers that I gotta scrap and rebuild. So, no, no scrapping for those. It's too many. Not worth scrapping. I have enough sand to create one. Do we need more sand? Is that why... More center? Is that why someone's... It looked like someone's been digging out of the, uh, the river here? Okay. Yeah. I was wondering what the hell's up with that. Wait. That ditch over there? Oh no, that's not me. You can only get you can get sand by yeah, either right. mixing it in uh, the cement mixer or you get it from the okay. desert. I probably could use an iron pickaxe at some point. We have an iron pick and a steel pick. Uh, they're in the unsorted. Oh, either well. or. I'm sure I can make use of them. Because I imagine we need a ton more stone. I don't want to take it for granted. <laughs> oh, so we're just throwing everything in this chest that we're melting down over here? Uh, yeah, that's why I put it there, just to... No, no, that was a good idea. Did, good yeah. idea. That reminds me, I need to, uh... Drop some shit off. I've forgot about. Oh, thank you, yeah, I am. actually starting to get an inventory system. Good work. Starting to organize it, I appreciate yeah, it's that. starting. Very nice. And we've got so much, it does need to be done. But yeah, take note of the color bling chest, bottom right. Uh, bottom right? Oh, okay. Does anyone not have cowboy boots? Uh, I got like... I'm wearing goth, but... Goth is a tad better. Yeah, um, so either or, like cowboy or goth boots. Um, we're in high performance running shoes. Ah, yeah, so um, you get the extra stamina. Yeah, probably don't need it. Yeah, it depends on what you want, but yeah. Uh, well, we got a table saw schematic. That could be handy. Uh, I think I need that. Actually. Yeah, it's in the uh, chest where we put all the schematics. There's also a silencer. We might get some use out of that.
Alright, I'm gonna go and quarry some stone. Nope, that's not stone. Is that about it for the clothing then? I think it is. I guess we're just putting the clothing mods into the clothing dress as well. Um, clothing mods? Oh yeah, but th no, I'll, I'll make a new chest for that thing. I genuinely forgot about that. There you go, put him in there. Up top. <laughs> okay. Well, at least this is a tad more organized now, so... That's like yeah. a problem everyone yeah. who plays this game runs into. Or even Minecraft. Yeah, most people just don't bother and then they complain because they their inventories are like... I can't do mm -hmm. anything much. Clothing, that's um two mods. Yeah, we do actually have two gravedigger mods. I think I bought one. Um, I can't remember. If you what well, when you went to trade. I might have. Do we have everything we would need to get another cement mixer going? Uh, probably. Do you want me to try If you would, things? please, yes. Uh, I think we should uh, try to make as much concrete as we can, if possible. Cement mixer, 25 force iron, 4 springs, 1 engine, 10 mech parts. Ooh, engine. Uh, we should have, like, an, a have few more engines, shouldn't we? One, two, three, we have three okay. engines. We need an engine for every motorcycle we mm. make. Bro, if I build you a new cement mixer, we'll only be able to still build two motorbikes. Yeah, I see the dilemma. <sighs> and we do need group mobility, actually, if we were going out and actually doing questing. Whoa. Do we have stuff for building another engine? I don't think they can uh, be built. We can't. I don't think. We, yeah, I don't think we can. I can't check. <laughs> no, we can't build our own engines. They are, are literally shops or salvage only. Um. Then yeah, we'll. I guess we just have to put it on hold until we can find another engine. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be better that way. Uh, you, didn't you want the steel pick? Yeah, I got it right now. Or, I mean, I not the steel pick, but the iron pick. I got that on me. You don't want the steel? Um, I guess I could take it. Yeah, because um, I was just going through the um, dumping chest and I found it and you were you were asking for it. Well, the iron one's a higher yeah. tier though, is it? Yeah, but the, yeah, but the material quality always drops the tier. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll come get it then. One sec here. Um, I'm right next oh. To uh, no, you're not. I just went around the boulder. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hello, Poppet. Uh, yeah. thank you, sir. Sure, you don't want to compare them? Uh, I guess I can, yeah. Um. Okay, what, what did it say for block damage? Block damage, 66. 44 on your iron one? Okay, good to know. Uh, the only drawback of the heavier tools is they need more stamina. I'm made for that. 
So you might want to hang on. You might want to hang on to the iron pick as well. But if you find yourself running low. Nah, my stamina regen is pretty good. All right. Thank you. Oh, yes. So there, uh, we have 150 cement mix plus whatever I put in the chest. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, 195. So we can make put make 19 more blocks or repair a bit. I'm gonna try to take down this whole boulder as fast as I can, and then I'm gonna head back. It's coming down pretty quickly, actually. Like three or four swings, and I destroy uh, an entire block. So. What was that? That me me stubbing my toe. Ow. Yeah. Ow. That's right. <laughs> All right, I was expecting lightning by now. Where is the frickin' lightning? It's only like 5 o'clock. Is that what I think it is over there? Uh, what do you think is over there? A nitrate. Rock. Uh, isn't that the one that looks like a cluster of crystals or something? Yeah. Might be. Uh, you can go up to it and dig the ground div it to see what you get. Yep. And my pickaxe needs repairs. But I think I got enough okay, stun to last us for a while. So, how was it using the steel one then? Well, I got about 3,500 stone, and yeah, it was taking a few less swings to get through that. So, where would you guys like me to put this stone at? Uh, just the original dumping chests for now. Uh, I am short on wood again. I was thinking of putting them in the cement mixer, actually. If you want to, yeah, go ahead. Uh, good place to store it. How do I put it in here? Oh, uh, just access it. Uh, probably need more crushed sand, actually. Uh, what are these blocks for, little guy? Just mark out chest locations. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking about that as well, actually. And what's this uh, jammed storage box? Forgot to unlock that. <laughs> Full block, same uh, storage as the rest of these. All right. You can even put them side by side. Put a um, sign I'm on top think, of it. I think so I need, um, ranged weapons, melee weapons, uh, ammunition, tools. Is there like? And then. The rest will be overflow chest. Is there like any? Where would I go for upping skills for like pistols? Would that be under agility? Okay. I think. Yeah, um, I think it's endurance. Master yeah. the use of handguns and SMGs. Okay. Uh, actually, no, it's not endurance. It's agility, isn't it? I'll go ahead and pick that up then. Uh, do we have a repair kit? Yeah, hand, handguns is under agility. Yeah. And yes, we do. Top, top left chest. I'm gonna repair this pickaxe then. No, I'm gonna go make some duct tape. Okay. Is it... uh, so, uh, do you need the glue that's in the chemistry station? Not really. 
experience bar fills up pretty fast using this damn thing. Actually, I probably need some water and food though before I go. How are we on water? Oh, we're excellent on water. Never mind. Fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Oh yeah, we, we got a river next to us. Of course we'll be absolutely fine. Ever since we found that beaker, our worries about water have been a thing of the past. I know, right? Okay. Oh, I'm low on something. What am I low on? Um, food. Right. I think I need to do some more cooking. Actually. Maybe. Uh, except we are short on eggs. Yes, we are short on eggs. So I'm going to have to get creative. Uh, do not ask where the eggs in your breakfast came from. They are just there. Accept it and be happy. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me the crazy amount of experience you get from mining. Yeah. Yeah, that um I love how far behind I am with everyone else. Ah, well. Oh, we've got a lot of here of corn. We've got some here's a super corn. Some yucca fruit, some berries. I'll grab some water. We've got some blueberries. We've got eight potatoes. Yeah, we probably need to start getting seeds. Yeah, we kind of do. Um, I was gonna kind of wait till after day seven. I can make a corn on the cob. I can make some corn bread. Um, you know what charred meat is. I can make some boiled meats. And I can just make grilled meats. Question: Can Grave Digger be put onto a pickaxe? I'm not sure. Let me go check. Well, I, 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 I'm not sure, but uh, pickaxe isn't what you meant to use against dirt, though. I figured it'd be worth asking. Yeah, it's worth asking. It's just not. Uh, it's yes, not yes, you nice. Can. I'm gonna have you to can. come back and grab that then. Though it's not recommended to use on use Gravedigger on uh, pickaxe, considering that you increase your block damage, melee damage by putting mods onto your tools, I would say yes. So are you telling me to put it on there or not to put it on there? To put it on there, increases block okay. damage. Are you in the food chest right now though, Kai? No. I'm one off. Right, uh, I'll grab. We probably still have a bunch of work that needs to be done on the outside before it gets too late. Um, boiled meats uses one water on one meat, while grilled meat is just the mm. one meat. Uh, the trade-off is that. Where's the uh, uh, mod at? Grilled meat gives you grilled meat gives you five health back. Uh, all the mods are in the storage room. Storage room. Okay. Yeah, uh, right hand side. There, there's lit signs on them. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, if you do boiled meat, it gives you 15 hit points back and gives you 10 water back, as well as 10 hunger back. So it's just all around more effective at the cost of using a bottle of water when you make it. Cornbread and corn on cob, though, are not really worth it, if I'm going to be honest. Uh. Is that a half back in there? Is there any more pistol rounds? Any more? Um, yes. 
There There's should the, be. There should be, some, there should be some in the uh, dump okay. chest that we haven't been sold. Through. I figure I'm going to need more than uh, like a hundred of them to get through a horde night. Did I just hear a zombie? I think so. Fire up. Oh, wandering horde. Just out, of, just out of curiosity, are there out on something like automated turrets? Yes, we have a few of those actually. Yes, but they're not that great considering you have to stand next to them. Uh, so they, actually, they are not really they're, they're, automated. They, they are, there is a skill to operate them more effectively though. So it's just if you don't have the skill, they are not very... But well, they're not truly automated, you essentially remote man them. Essentially, yeah. But they are still extra firepower that you're not directly controlling. You just have to be somewhere nearby. So, semi-automated, I guess? Define, define nearby. 100 meters, 10 meters, 1 meter? Fairly yeah, close. Five meters. Hang on, let me check. Uh, you know. I'm the only one that's really Those might have to be moved a little bit because I put an overhang around the base. Oh, by default it's 10 meters. Oh, 10? That's actually decent. Um, and then it's 18 meters What if you max out the skill. But that also allows you to have two active turrets near you rather than one as well. Oh, okay, then I'll do a little more count. Guys. Yeah, but yeah, until you, until you max out that skill, you're limited to one active per player. Yeah, it's still essentially giving you what another fifty percent uh, uh, DPS. Yeah, it's still giving you more DPS, and there are better grades of turret as well. Uh, I'm, again, a... I'm the one likely to be able to make them because I'm going int route. Um, Is there something like the Team Forge in the near turret? Pardon? Is there a turret like the Team Fortress Engineer one? There is shotgun turrets and... Twin Mini Gun and, and Quad Missile Launcher? I don't think so. Um, <laughs> there's Junk Turret, SMG Turret and Shotgun Turret. Yeah, I would probably pick SMGs. Really depends on the base layout. Ah, that's better. SM SMG or Shotgun. Um, the SMG turret is actually a 9mm SMG. 9mm isn't a bad round. Mm, I mean, I wouldn't mind having an SMG now, yeah. come to mention it. Uh, we, we don't, we, we literally don't have any SMGs, I'm afraid. Oh, oh wait, no, 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 yes we do. We have some AKs. That's not an SMG. That's not a sword rifle. Yeah, as far as the game's concerned, it is. So. Seriously? What? They're gonna leave it. Well, technically it's a machine gun. Um, it, assault it's rifle is somewhere between a machine, machine gun, gun but... and a submachine gun, actually. Yeah, but the game calls it a... Uh... How long has the fireplace in the kitchen had a beaker in it? No idea, why? <laughs> because no one has ever used this fireplace to cook stuff. And I like, left it there, thinking it we might... Yeah. Yeah, no one's ever used it, but I've just come to dismantle it and I've found that there's a beacon in there, so... Okay, then. I'm somewhat concerned about how long... So not, yeah, I'm concerned about how long that's been left there with a beacon. No there. idea, to be honest. Like, like, was it there when we were having a massive water shortage? Uh... Have we been idiots the whole time? Quite possibly. You know, I'm concerned I was the one that placed that fireplace? In a fire kit? Fun? Yeah, I placed that uh, campfire down. Oh, sorry, Me and Luke Kart kind of got a chain gang going on. You're working on the railroad. What, no response to that? Early in the morning, I ain't got me working. Someday I ain't set me free. Sure. <laughs>
Me and Lil Carbot got this boulder knocked out and we'll have stone for days. Okay, where'd you get that uh, pickaxe from? Uh, nice. Oops. I think we should be heading back inside. Yeah, so probably. Go ahead, 